2022 so far has been a dry year for the Cars diecast line because we've barely even received any new characters. If any at all, if you include Rowdy Rev and Bush, which he didn't even appear in the movies, so he's not even canon, so it doesn't even count. As for this guy, Keith Cone here did. As he was seen in the Los Angeles International Speedway. You may think, oh, Jay with VR headsets a new release. It kind of is and kind of isn't. Yeah, I don't even count Mater with the working tail hook as a new release because it's just the Mater and the Queen of which no one even cares about. Anyways, here's our first real new release for 2022. Thus being Keith Cone here. Available in 2022 singles case H along with the race damaged King, which I'll do soon on the 15th, as a matter of fact, which I think is a Friday. That's going to be pretty cool. The artwork of Keith Cohn, Keith Cohn, his name himself. I really like the tire treads. M Metal, Mattel. Got this online. Yeah, because my stores suck as well. So you're not alone. My stores are really, really slow. If your stores are like mine, then you're not alone. As seen in Cars. We've got Marlon Clutch McKay here, released in the past few cases. We got Bruce Miller posing as Winford Bradford Rutherford. Let me clarify that they are not doing Bruce Miller. I repeat, they are not doing Bruce Miller. I am sorry. It's going to be Winford Bradford Rutherford. We also got Artie right there. Dexter Hoover. Kathy Copter. Brad Windmiller. And the uh, Yellow Hydraulic Ramon. Of which is correct. All of them are correct. They did appear in these movies. I mean, they did appear in the first Cars movie. So yeah, we're just going to get you on out of here, Keith Cone. Finally, our new release for... And finally, a new character. I've waited so long since Sarah Wilson and Derek Williams back in fall of last year. Or around October of last year. There we go. There we go. There's our card art. Out you come, Keith Cohn. Wow, look at this guy. He looks amazing. So, of course, I already mentioned where he appeared in the movie. At the Los Angeles International Speedway, along with Timothy Two Stroke. In the background, Timothy was posing as his diecast form here, and Keith was trying to get in the camera. And I think according to the Mattel listings, they originally called him Camera Hog Fan, out of all names. Camera Hog Fan. They couldn't have just used, like, um, brown SUV. Yeah, you couldn't have just used that name instead of just Camera Hog Fan, which I think is kind of weird. I think there's also going to be a new character again this year, but I've forgotten her name. I don't know. I'll remember that name once her diecast probably comes out, of which she's probably canceled. You probably know who I'm talking about, because I don't even know. So anyways, we should take a closer look at him. So. this Fun fact, this guy is actually named after my dad's first name. So credit to him. He's got, um... Uh, red eyes, I want to say. Got headlights and the smile. 
Man, look at that mouth. It's just engraved. I love it. I love it. I love it. Yep. Got engraved. Looks pretty darn cool. The tires looks just like um Leroy Hemmings tires. Anyways, the little thing right there that minivans often have. The side doors here. That little triangle thing that's pretty much on every one of this model. And the back, he's got no headlights. Or I'm sorry, he's got no backlights. As opposing to, he's got no dome from Thomas. That one episode called uh, Gordon and the Famous Visitor. Man, I love that episode. KYT49. Yep, no backlights. Not a single Keith Cone in the world has them. Mm -mm, no Surrey Bob. Those three dots posing as the triangle again. Man, they need to stop using the chainsaw outside. Uh, it's a little bit dusty, this one, already. Ugh. Don't know why. There's his expression again. It's got the roof racks, of course. They're plastic. R13A, 13th week of this year. Being in Thailand, not China. The front rivet there is in brown, and the back is in chrome. So yeah, it's pretty much all for Keith Cohn. And he is actually a little bit heavy. Not pretty heavy, like heavy heavy, but a little bit heavy. Yes, I'll compare him to Chuck Show Cables, because why not? As you can see, um, Keith Cohn is slightly a bit taller here. He's got different tires compared to Chuck, of course. And Chuck doesn't even have a mouth plate. Leroy Traffic does, who we'll get to in a moment. This is the 2014 version, if you didn't know already. I reviewed not too long ago. Check it out. Then we got Leroy Hemming. Yeah, there's no contest to see who's bigger. Leroy's got the mattress, so that doesn't even count. Imagine if they did Leroy without the mattress. That'd be pretty cool. The tires, of course, they're the same as Leroy Traffic's. Of course, they got different license plate as well. And Leroy's anonymous for having that little mini back tire. I mean, this guy, Keith Coney, just screams final lap, doesn't it? All right, guys, so that's going to be pretty much it for this video. And, yeah, Case H is probably going to be the best case of the year, or at least so far. Not sure about yet. But we're bound to see, aren't we? With cars on the road stuff, which they're likely not going to release the diecasts that have been previewed. Sorry, guys. Sorry. They're just not going to release them. Have they done it before with, like... I'm not even going to go there. I'm just not. Because I'll get a whole lot of hatred for that. So, anyways, I shall see you guys on the next video, which is... The Thailand version of Race Damage the King. Coming on Friday. So, I'll see you guys then... Goodbye, thanks for watching, and as always, peace.